Darren Stevens becomes oldest man to hit a double century in the championship for 70 years. After securing safety in Division 1 of the Specsavers County Championship last week, Kent travelled to Leeds to take on Yorkshire at Emerald Headingley. In the reverse fixture at the Spitfire ground in May, Yorkshire came out winners by 172 runs. After winning the toss and choosing to bat first, Kent made a poor start to their innings, with early wickets falling. Two wickets in one Duane Olafir over gave Yorkshire a dream start. Crawley was the first to go, LBW for four runs. And then four balls later, Ollie Robinson aborted a drive and tried to leave the ball at the last moment, the indecision resulting in a thin edge to the keeper. They were soon three down, and again Olafir with the wicket, Faf Duplessis gone for a duck, carnage in the first half hour of play. They were then four down. Matt Fisher bowled an absolute jaffer, which pinned Daniel Bell Drummond to the crease and removed the off stump. Things were looking bleak for Kent when Kuhn was next to go for just eight runs. Kent needed to show some resilience, with Sam Billings alongside Darren Stevens at the crease. They would move the score past 50 to help start the rebuilding process. This pair would continue on their merry way as they continued the fight back after a nightmare start for their side and the 50 partnership would soon arrive. Shortly before lunch, Stevens reached his half century in fine style, belting Patel over the top for six, 50 off just 59 balls, lunch arrived with the score 112 for five. More of the same required for Kent in the afternoon session and these two were showing no let up with the sun shining at Headingley. Stevens, in particular, was on the attack and firing his second maximum of the innings off the bowling of Patterson this time. Kent really were creeping back into this contest. Billings was soon celebrating his half-century, a vital knock coming off 81 balls, the partnership worth 118. They weren't done there, as Stevens was in the mood for sixes, again clearing the ropes off the bowling of Patel. Stevens was putting on a show, and in the 50th over, he hit two boundaries to move past his century. A rich vein of form for the veteran, who scored 88 and took 10 wickets last week against Knotts. A quite simply awe-inspiring display from Stevens, crashing the ball to all parts of the field. T would arrive with Kent 316 for five. In the evening session, Sam Billings would waste little time in securing his century. Successive boundaries off the bowling of Patterson brought up the landmark, 100 runs off 157 balls. A few overs later, it was the double century scored for Stevens, a push into the offside and a dashed single bringing Stevens his fourth double century, 202 balls, 24 fours and 7 sixes. Records were tumbling as Stevens soon secured his highest ever first class score as he moved past 211. Kent's highest ever sixth wicket stand also breached today by Stevens and Billings. But the fun came to an end eventually, with Stevens departing for 237 runs, caught by Rivas off the bowling of Patel, an awesome display from the 43-year-old who received a standing ovation from the Yorkshire crowd. It ended a stand of 346 with Sam Billings. Kent was soon moving past 400, and remember this was a side who in the morning were at 39 for 5. Billings would depart for a superb 138 runs as Olafir secured his Pfeiffer, caught by Adam Lythe. The eighth wicket fell with Podmore gone for a duck, bowled by Matt Fisher. No more wickets would fall before the close of play, with Kent closing in on 500. Stumps reached at 482 for eight. A memorable day as Darren Stevens scored a career best 237 in what could be his penultimate match for Kent as all sorts of records fell on day one at Headingley. Oh.